Hi everyone, this is Patrick Boschman. I'm an architect in the IT transformation practice. I wanted to share with you a quick how-to video on using the Integration Hub JSON parser now available in the ServiceNow Paris release. So before I get into the how-to demonstration, I'd like to provide you a brief history lesson of how we got here. So, if you are a longtime ServiceNow user like myself, you probably remember a JSON parser activity being available inside of workflow in orchestration. Then Integration Hub came around, which is an amazing product I love and I use every day. But for quite some time now, it's lacked the ability to have an action that parses JSON rather than needing to script the parsing of a JSON payload. And while this in no way uh, limited your ability within the product, it did make dealing with complex JSON payloads somewhat monotonous, having to create the inputs and the outputs for a script activity every time you want to parse a JSON payload. So now let's move into our ServiceNow uh, Paris instance and check out how to use the new JSON parser step as part of a integration hub action. So the first thing you'll notice here is I have a REST step and it actually calls uh, Google's APIs for YouTube and pulls in a bunch of information about uh, the various videos that we post on the IT workflows YouTube channels. For your knowledge, ServiceNow does have a integration hub spoke that can pull in all of the same information that this custom REST step can. However, it does require OAuth authentication and I don't have that level of access within our Google account. Therefore, I rolled my own spoke with an API key being my method for authentication. So let's go ahead and test this REST step and look at the JSON output that is returned when I query YouTube with a video ID. So if we look at the steps, we're gonna notice the response body from YouTube, and we basically are returned a large JSON object. This happens to be about a Peppa Pig video because that is pretty much all my kids watch on YouTube. So let me just copy this JSON object so I can show you how the parser parses the objects out of this JSON. We'll go ahead and create a new JSON parser step here so you can see it from the top. And we'll say the source data is the response body from my API call. And if we hit generate target, so if we take a look at the object that was parsed, you'll notice that now all of the parts of the object are available to us. You'll notice that these are now available to us as part of the data pill picker as well. Now, the last thing that we need to do is just uh, add an output so that this JSON object is available in a subflow or a workflow that you're calling this action from. So if we go to edit outputs here, you'll see that I made a new uh, action output variable. I called it video info, and I assigned it the type object. And if we exit edit mode here, we can see that I simply made the value of that video info uh, output object just my JSON parser step, that top level JSON. Now let's take a look on how we actually consume this inside of a flow. So to start dealing with this JSON, what you need to do is you need to create a uh, for each workflow logic. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go for each item in uh, my video Im info, which is the output of that rest action step. Um, and then you're going to use the array.object. So in this case, it's items. So I'm going to iterate through uh, my list of items inside of uh, that JSON object. And I'm going to update various records within this table that I have in ServiceNow. So I'm going to take my field, which happens to be, uh, I have a field in the form called title. I am going to use items, object, snippet, title to update that field. 
Now, something I've noticed here, when you use the update uh, record option and you're iterating through this JSON, you do need to create uh, separate updates for every field that you want to update within the record. Rather than just adding an additional field here, it seems to not work. And I would guess that's something to do with the way that we're iterating through this JSON object. So in closing, I hope you found this video informative on using the JSON parser step inside of Integration Hub as part of our Paris release. Please feel free to click like, comment, uh, ask questions in the comment section. I will attempt to answer them. And if you have additional account type questions, how do I get access to Integration Hub or how can I start using this within my ServiceNow environment, please feel free to reach out to your ServiceNow account team. Thank you so much. Have a great day.